Hello, everybody. I'm in the library again. Just me, though. I really miss you. I thought I'd share a story today about spring. Now we're into a new season. What comes after winter? Spring. Now this book is about something I just saw on the news two days ago. It happens almost every year when little ducklings get into some trouble and need to be rescued. Let's share this story and see what happens. Lucky Ducklings. It's by written by Eva Moore, illustrated by Nancy Carpenter. Look for the helpers. They are the ones that help us and animals too. Are these ducklings really going to be lucky? There's the dedication page and the publication page. Here we go. The duck family lived in a pretty pond in a green, green park in a sunlit little town at the end of a long, long island. Early one morning, Mama Duck swam to shore. She hopped out onto the grass. Right behind her came Pippin, Bippin, Tippin, Dippin, and last of all, Lil Joe. What a fine day for a walk. Off they went through the green, green park. Wanka, wanka, Mama Duck called to her brood, which meant, follow me. And Pippin, Bippin, Tippin, Dippin, and last of all, Little Joe lined up right behind her, and off they went. They came out of the park and into the town. The ducks had a bite to eat. Oh, they're finding some things on the ground. Look at those two fighting over a pretzel. There's some hot dogs. Then they went on their way. Mama Duck went first. Oh my gosh, look at how big that curb is for little Joe. For all the babies. That's like a mountain for them, isn't it? Right behind came Pippin. Oh no! Bippin. Ah. Tippin. Dippin. And last of all, little Joe. Oh dear, that could have been the end of the story, but it wasn't because <gasps> someone saw what happened. Help, the woman cried. All the baby ducks fell into the storm drain. Call the fire department. People came to see what the matter was. They could hear the ducklings making a ruckus down below. Mama Duck heard them too. She ran to the storm drain and wouldn't let anyone get near it. Wah, wah, she said, get away from my babies. Fireman Joe, Paul, and Dennis rushed to the rescue, but they couldn't open the grate. The ducklings were trapped. Oh dear, that could have been the end of the story, but it wasn't because... A man named Perry had an idea. There was a big roll of cable in his pickup truck. He hooked the end of the cable to the grate and then switched on the motor. Arr, the cable tugged on the grate. Oh, look at everyone watching. Oh, yay, Fireman Paul climbed down. The grate popped off and Fireman Paul climbed down, down into the storm drain. Everyone waited. Quack, 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 quack. There's the babies down there. Do you think they're scared? And when they saw Pippin, Bippin, Tippin, Dippin, and last of all, Little Joe, everyone cheered. Fireman Joe picked up the bucket filled with the ducklings and started to cross the road. 
he was going to take the ducklings back to the park. Mama Duck came running after him. Quack, 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 she cried. Bring my babies back. Oh dear, that could have been the end of the story. But it wasn't because Fireman Dennis knew what to do. Honk, honk, beep, beep. Look at he stopped all the traffic and put the ducklings down. At last, Mama Duck and her brood were together again, all safe and sound. Whack, whack, Mama Duck said. What lucky ducklings you are. Quack, 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 her ducklings agreed. The five lucky ducklings lined up behind their mama, and off they went. Pippin, dippin, tippin, dippin, and last of all, little Joe. And that is the end of the story. Boys and girls, isn't it so great that we have helpers to help us? When we feel lost or afraid, there's always a grown-up you can trust that will help you. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in today to that story called Lucky Ducklings, if you'd like to take an AR test on it. Now, if you type that in the computer, there's something called call letters that would help you find it quickly. The computer would say E-M-O-O. And E would tell you that it's fiction for everybody. And M-O-O is the author's last name starting. So you would find it in the M box right in our library in the everybody section. If you wanted to learn about ducklings, you'd go right over there. Do you see the nonfiction section behind me? And the shelf 599 is where wild animals are. And that's where ducklings would be. 599. We, we have numbers on all of those books. They're organized by numbers called the Dewey Decimal System, right? So when you're shopping for books on the computer now, that's one way to tell if it's fiction or nonfiction. Look and see what the call letters are right under the book, right under the title on the computer. It'll say E if it's a story for everybody. It's a fiction book. If there's numbers there, then you know it's nonfiction and you would look for it in that section. All right. Great job listening. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.